All right, everybody. Uh, oh, yeah, I totally forgot. We do power rankings Yes, here. we do. Let's do them right freaking now. Coming in at number 10 on the power rankings, we got the Tampa Bay Rays. Ooh. Four and six in their last 10. We delivered it to them. We had a chance, we had an opportunity to get four W's. We did not capitalize on that. We actually got annihilated in the yeah, last game. Yeah, Gosman got destroyed. Um, but you know what? The one thing I will say about them uh, and I, I wasn't really impressed with their offense as a whole. It felt like they weren't really threatening us, or at least in the games that I watched. Yeah. Um, and I just, I don't know if that team, that inconsistent offense, is going to be able to take them very far in the postseason. Well, you know who is going to take them very far? It's Shane McClanahan. Yeah, that he's is the back. Other foot. That's uh, he, he. He's scary. He, he looks unhittable. He was in that game. Yeah. And he was. Unhittable. He was pretty dominant. So pitching is going to have to do it for them. Number nine is the Seattle Mariners. Uh, some bad news in Seattle. I mean, Eugenio. Suarez broken finger. Yeah. He had 31 home runs and 84 ribbies for the Mariners. So that's definitely Good. a big blow. And like he's gonna be gone for a while, maybe even the whole season. I don't know. So like broken finger is pretty bad right yeah. there. Granted, they are still pretty dominant. They're number two in the wild card race. i or number three right now, but like they're gonna finish number yeah. two. Like they're, they're, they're gonna, gonna I have faith in them. Uh, I don't I would still rather play the Rays than them 100 percent Oh, of the time. Definitely. Like, definitely. I, I don't want anything to do with Seattle. No, they're a really good team. Who's number eight? Number eight is the San Diego Padres. Oh. A little bit questionable. I mean, like they're six and four right now but they got 81 wins uh the craziest part about this though is that the san diego padres actually couldn't miss playoffs if they scuffle enough so yeah. they need to keep this six and four up dude yeah the milwaukee I mean, brewers are knocking at the door man i believe they're coming up with a they came up with a sweep last week and like they needed it because before that they were they were ass. ass they were ass juan soto hit his first home run in like almost a month so people were booing juan soto what yeah san diego padres fans oh my were booing god juan soto. can you believe that you know wow. at, at the trade deadline it's like literally like their savior from grace is savior, coming down from savior. heaven right now they're booing him that's incredible it's ridiculous wow. i mean i have no worries about juan soto he's an no. incredible player i still think he's probably the best young hitter in baseball so he is gonna bounce it back but like damn like and dude they, they traded for josh Hader too like what yeah happened, and he what sucks. happened to their guys that they he traded? sucks dude maybe maybe the coaching at san diego is just bad right maybe or maybe the management's bad. bad at seeing what was, what was developing i mean brewers got rid of Hader because they saw something happen right and they got rid of them could be maybe i they know. saw it who knows weird one there guys number seven he got the two run let's go the there we are number one in the wild card race right now we let's had a great on. week um not a whole lot to say about us dude like, we're just getting the job done yeah and like it really seems like the guys like we're not firing on all cylinders quite just yet, but it seems like it's the train of cylinders are starting to pump up a bit. Yeah. They're all starting to go a little bit faster and faster. Absolutely. And coming into postseason, this is exactly what you want to see. Yeah, yeah. Once we get Alejandro Kirk back, watch out. Also, Max Wilson with an absolute blasphemy right now, saying Danny Jansen is better than Kirk. That's just not uh, true. That's just not true. That's just not true. <laughs> I like Danny Jansen a lot, but uh, but Alejandro Kirk is he's number mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Number six on this list is the New York Yankees. Now, you could start to make the argument that they could overtake those Cardinals for that number right. five spot. Spoiler alert, St. Louis Cardinals are number five. Um, Aaron Judge with the Triple Crown. That is elite. And, and I will say I'm gaining a lot of respect for the Yankees in the past little bit. Yeah. They scuffled a while. But I, but they, you know, I kept saying yeah. it's like that team this good can't be this bad for yeah. this long, yeah. and they're showing the other side of that. Yeah, they're being good. They're being a little bit above five hundred. I think maybe they felt a bit of pressure of Toronto, Tampa Bay starting to creep up on them, it's, and they, it's they possible, came, they came through. It is possible, right? Like I think we got. Do we have a few more games with them? Uh we have one more series. One more series, yep. right? Yep. So it's like Oops. if we actually delivered it to them there, and they it's just they fall off a little bit yeah. in the in the few weeks before that. Yes, like there is an. It's possible. Yeah, it, all, it, possible. it does. It does come down to this yeah. one week number five is the st louis cardinals as i said uh we talked about them before guys but like i really do believe that that offense yeah. is like top top tier um another one of those teams where it's like i would not want to have to deal with them like first round of playoffs like definitely not like that's no. just not the team that you want to run no. into like you do not want to be matched up against them because they're gonna knock somebody out and i can see them going very very far yeah i mean you were talking about batting averages before with who's leading the league and we're just looking at american league for mm -hmm. our judge but like they got guys who are well higher than judge yeah Goldschmidt. literally <laughs> Uh, number four on this list is the New York Mets. Um, literally, guys, I'm going to keep doing it. I Oof. do not give a fuck. There's probably strong arguments for the Braves <laughs> to be number four and the yeah. Mets to be three. Uh, I just don't care. Um, I, I still think that they're better. And, I, yeah. And I'm just going to keep doing it until I'm wrong at the end yeah. of the season. Yeah, look, at the end of the day, maybe I am biased as hell, but like I do just love the Atlanta Braves better. They won a I World like Series. Better, I know? like their makeup better. They're younger. They're sexier. Like the, Mets. the Mets just bought a team and threw it all together and they so just 
piss me off. You know, <laughs> number three is the Atlanta Braves guys who don't piss me off as much as the men. So that's why you're number three and you're number four, man. So yeah. stop pissing me off and maybe I'll move up. Yeah, come on. Literally. Impress the man. Number two is the Houston Astros. They've been there I mean, for a while. They've locked it in. That's their spot. I dude, mean, not a whole lot to say. About dude, them. eight and two in their last ten. They're elite. They're they're going to get over 100 wins. They're at 96 right now. They're the team to beat in the American League. 100%. Team to beat in the uh, National League is obviously the LA Dodgers. They are also eight and two. They surpassed the 100 win mark. They're at 101 right now. One like 115. That is definitely, definitely. in the range of outcomes. Like this is verging on you know top 10 best season of a team ever. ever. Uh, like I think the last time that we looked, it's like literally plus 300 to win the World Series. That is not a lot, and it still feels like value. Um, Dude, they're stupid good. Dude, uh, here's a fun stat I saw on Twitter. Uh, they've won the NL West nine times in the last 10 years. Yep. They're just dominant. They're going to be what the Atlanta Braves are going to be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, like, don't um, basically, if they don't win the World Series, this will be a horrible, horrible bust for them. Yeah, so absolutely. This, they need to win. Absolutely. All right, everybody. Those are our power rankings. You let us know why we're wrong in the comments down below, please. We'd love to hear it.